Back in March, that was a nightmare because uh, I couldn't, I couldn't run. My lungs were like uh, basically like somebody was squeezing them. Running only one mile, it was a nightmare. It was like uh, I had to five minutes running was I have to stop. April May, I got I was COVID free. Then we have the notification that um, uh, the marathon was canceled. That was sad for everybody, including myself. Then we have the good news that, you know, it's going virtual. I was like, you know what, this is my shot. I get registered and I'm ready to go. <laughs> my strategy actually, yeah, I'm thinking to um, basically pick up the same course as the, as the race. I'm planning to start on the Bowling Green around Staten Island Ferry. So starting from there, crossing the Brooklyn Bridge, Brooklyn, then cross the Pulaski Bridge to Queens, pick up the 59 Bridge, uh, run to the Bronx, come back and maybe finish on Central Park or maybe here in the west side. <laughs> More excited about this, uh, you know, to cross the finish line. Like, it uh, doesn't matter how hard the race was, when you cross the lines, like, uh, you, you basically, like, uh, your mind is blown, like, oh my God, I really did it. My name is Faisal Madney and I'll be running the TCS Virtual New York City Marathon all the way here from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Running was the last thing I ever thought I would be into. In my first year teaching, I, fit, I was told that you have to make the kids run for at least five minutes. I was called out by one of my students saying, this is ridiculous, we never had to do this before you got here. I bet you can't even run. And I realized this is gonna be a long career uh, being a fraud if I don't actually walk the walk, or actually in this case, run the run. So I got into that and I ran Miami half, and next year you know, the Dallas full marathon, and I always wondered what it would be like to come back home and run New York City. So next thing you know, I'm, I'm been bit by the bug. I didn't know anything about TCS teachers or anything until I got that survey. We are giving teachers who wanted to participate in the TCS New York City Marathon, but perhaps didn't get in, a second chance to enter and run the race. So for four years straight, I tried to get into New York City Marathon and obviously uh, struck out every time. I remember being like half awake. I didn't even have my coffee and I'm doing these essays on there on my phone. When I got in, I was like, oh my God. It was uh, one of the happiest things. I didn't even call my friends and my family. I FaceTime, and I don't FaceTime people just like that. So this is where it all started. I'm a phys ed teacher here at Shidler Elementary since 2007. And over the years, I've worked hard on incorporating uh, running culture for these young kids in this community. Um, they're working hard on running the Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon, the kids marathon, of course. When I run the New York City Marathon, I will obviously try to lead by example. Um, they see me training around, sometimes around this neighborhood. Uh, try to walk the walk and talk the talk with, when it comes to teaching, because at this age, they're really impressionable about what they see, you know, and definitely it's, it's, uh, it's something to think about while I, while I go on my long runs to make sure that to finish what I start, just like as I teach these kids. 
I actually love working with TCS um, and what they do with the teachers and the New York City Marathon. My colleagues are wondering, what is TCS? And what kind of teacher are you that you're a TCS teacher? Because I got the hats. They were, this was the organization that made my dream come true with running back home. Hi everyone, it's Meb Kafelski. Congratulations on completing the 2020 virtual TCS New York City Marathon. You did it. In 2017, I decided to do my last competitive marathons in Boston and New York City Marathon. But, you know, it has to finish where it all started for me, New York City Marathon, 15 years ago. You know, I work hard the best that I can, but it didn't pan out on the podium like I wanted to. But at the New York City Marathon, I ended up getting 11th place. Not bad for 42 years old. No regrets. I gave it everything that I had. In fact, I just collapsed at the finish line. You know, through the hard work and perseverance and love and friend, support from family and friends to get you to the finish line. And for me to be able to just celebrate that is huge. And I hope you celebrate that because of the 2020 has been difficult and to be able to make the sacrifice and the commitment and all the accomplishment that you have done to get to the finish line is important. So you enjoyed it, have fun. I hope to see you soon. Good luck. Hi, my name is Emily Sisson and I am a two-time USA national champion. I will be doing the TCS New York City Virtual Marathon this fall. Yeah, so when I started running, I was probably around 12 or 13 years old. I was playing soccer with a bunch of my friends and they asked if I'd join the track team. Um, and I just really, really enjoyed running and I loved it so much uh, that like when it came time for high school and I had to pick one sport, it was without a doubt, like I just want to run. My name is Stephanie Bruce and I'm a professional distance runner for Hoka Northern Arizona Elite. Um, I have been a runner basically all of my life. I just got into it because we had it in physical education and like fitness tests in grade school. And then I found out I could beat boys in the mile shuttle run and that was very appealing to me. Then when the virtual um, race became an option, we kind of were talking and we're like, this is probably a good idea. Um, one thing I know for sure about marathon training is it gets me more fit than any other type of training. So we're like, why not? train for this race. Um, it has something on your calendar now that you can look forward to. Um, you can push yourself that day, uh, run a hard effort, and then use that as momentum going forward into the new Olympic year. So um, it's kind of nice having just something written down. Um, it's kind of nice right now to have something just on the schedule, and hopefully to use as a springboard into um, races after. You know, I think 2020 presented a lot of challenges for people and in ways that we we never really knew how we were going to react. You know, the part of us that were runners, I think we really were forced to find out where does our motivation lie and like how intrinsically motivated are we to get out the door, lace up, you know, one, go train by ourselves for many months when it was not recommended that people train together. So how I started to reframe my mindset and my mentality, like even though we didn't have timelines and we didn't know when races would resume, the training that you're doing now is going to benefit you later. The fact that I get to actually run my own virtual TPS New York City Marathon is like a bonus. Um, so it really hasn't been that challenging for me. And um, just hopefully part of what I share can, if it impacts one person, then I'm doing my job. Honestly, just it gives me a reason to get out the door right now. I really underestimated um, the mental toll that having no races would have on me. Uh, at the beginning of this, people talked about how hard it was going to be, and I was like, no, I'll be fine. I love running. I love the grind. But then when race after race kept getting canceled, I actually did find it hard and I struggled a bit. There were just some days, it'd either be I had a, would have a great workout and then I'd be like, well, what's that going towards? Or I'd have a day I didn't feel good. And I was just kind of like, well, what's the point? <laughs> so I had like definitely had some of those moments and we don't often talk about them. but. Um, having a race on the schedule right now, it gives me some sense of purpose and it also gives me some sense of normalcy when I can't really do my job normally right now. So, um, so I'm pretty thankful for that. It, it's helped a lot uh, mentally. Hi, my name is Emily Sisson and I'm about to start my virtual TCS New York City Marathon here in San Diego, California. Good luck to everyone running.
show us that metal. <laughs> Hello and good luck to everyone, the thousands of you worldwide running in this year's TCS New York City Marathon virtually. I'm John Anderson of ESPN and I get it, the race is virtual. The training, um, the miles, the sweat, that's all very real. Now obviously I would rather be sitting in Central Park with my broadcast partners, Shalane and Tim, calling this race for ESPN and WABC, but rest assured, the finish line, First Avenue, all five boroughs uh, are still there and will be there next November when we actually get back to the streets of New York City. Until then, we are thrilled, we are so excited, we are grateful that you are out there pounding out 26.2 miles for us. And know that your participation in this year's race is both a part of and an example of the New York Road Runners mission to help inspire people through running. So good on you, good luck, get after it, and stay hydrated. Hi, my name is Mike Klepper and I live in San Francisco, and next week I'm gonna have the pleasure of running the New York City TCS Virtual Marathon. Hi guys, my name is Angela Wynn. I'm coming to you from the Brooklyn Promenade here in New York City. This year I'll be running the 2020 TCS New York City Virtual Marathon. I'm Connie Brown. I'm in Sarasota, Florida, and I'll be running the virtual New York City Marathon on Sunday, November 1st. This year, I will be running the virtual New York Marathon, and I feel very fortunate to be able to do so. As in March this year, I um, was hospitalized with quite a severe case of coronavirus, and um, I have since struggled with my health and my fitness. I feel very fortunate that I can participate in the virtual New York Marathon this year with a number of my clients who are going to help me through the 42.2 kilometres. And we're running on this day for all those people that have lost their lives or livelihoods to coronavirus. <laughs>